Unicorn Poop Knits, the channel where I show you how to make whimsical knitted creations. In today's episode, I'll be doing another yarn unboxing. Now, before I start, I want to quickly apologize because my hair is soaking wet and I'm not wearing a lot of makeup and there's construction going on next door and it's so loud, you're definitely gonna hear it in this video, so apologies. But I just had to film this right now because I just got this yarn today. I've been waiting for it for over a month because Canada Post is so slow during quarantine. And I know they're doing their best, but it means that things take forever to get here. This yarn came from London, Ontario, and I'm in Montreal, in Quebec, which is in the province right next door. And this took over a month to get here. I've been anxiously waiting for it because I was chosen as a test knitter for the project pattern called Wasted With Pockets by Knit V and Pearl Passion on Instagram. And I was so excited to be chosen. I've never done it before. And I'm really happy and honored to have the chance to do it. And as a test knitter, they're working with a company called Rowan and Raven Yarns, which is an indie dye yarn brand. And if we ordered from her, we would get a 15% discount. So I ordered from her, and also she let me pick whichever color I wanted, not just colors that she dyes, but any color I wanted, which was really amazing. It made me feel really special. And so I asked her to dye three balls of yarn jet black, and one ball of yarn crimson red, or scarlet red. I think I said scarlet red, yes. Anyway, so she actually did it. I was, I was so amazed that I got to pick the colors that I wanted and she made them custom for me and I just felt really special. So if you're watching this, thank you so much. You're amazing. <laughs> so yeah, the deadline for finishing this skirt is June 22nd. So as the days and weeks kept rolling by, I was getting really nervous, like, oh God, is this even gonna get here before the deadline? And now it finally arrived. So I have like seven days to make this. Fingers crossed, I'm gonna work really, really hard. I already work 40 hours a week and sometimes I do like some overtime. So I'm gonna be spending all my free time just knitting like crazy. <laughs> But anyway, I think this is a great summer project, um, Wasted With Pockets um, by Knit V and Pearl Passion. It hasn't been published yet because it's going through test knitters first to make sure everything works. Um, but when they publish it, I'll try to remember to let you know and include links. I think it's going to be published on Ravelry, so keep an eye out for that. I think it's a really fun summer knit and I think I'm really going to enjoy doing it. I've really, really been anxiously waiting to start for weeks now, and I'm really excited I can finally start because all the other test knitters have been getting really far in their work. One of them finished already, and I'm like, oh God, I'm so behind. <laughs> but now I finally get to start, yay! <laughs> so without further ado, I'm going to open this, and then I start work at 3.15 today. I work 3.15 to 11.15 p.m. So that's why I really wanted to film this right now because this just came today and I want to open it right now. I'm so excited! Okay, here we go. Ooh! Oh my goodness, oops. The tag came off, I broke the tag, oh well. So look at this, <gasps> that is the perfect jet black. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is gonna be such a pretty skirt. Look at this. Oh, it's a nice texture too. It's not super soft. Let me see what the material is. It's not scratchy or anything. It's just not as soft as some materials. Let me see. All right, so it's 80% superwash merino wool and 20% nylon. So I guess it should be machine washable because superwash doesn't shrink and I don't think nylon shrinks either. 
I can't guarantee that, but I know for sure super wash wool does not shrink. Um, I don't know if the colors will bleed though. I might have to send a message to Rowan and Raven Yarn on Instagram just to make sure. But if I can run this through the washing machine, that would be pretty, pretty damn cool. <laughs> okay. Look at this red! Oh my goodness, this is such a vibrant color. Oh, and look at the tag, it's so nice. Now this is a sock weight yarn and it has 425 yards per skein, which is a really good deal. You can do a lot with 425 yards. So to make this whole skirt, apparently, apparently I'm gonna need four balls of yarn. So four balls, that's almost 2,000 yards, not quite. Oh, look at them, they're so pretty. This is gonna be such a gorgeous skirt. Oh, I'm so excited. And I have seven days to make it, so my needles are gonna be on fire. Kind of like this yarn, it kind of looks like it's on fire, right? <laughs> so, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is, this is going to be the ribbed waistband and it's also going to be a border around the bottom. And if Knit V and Pro Passion say it's okay, I'm gonna use this to make the pockets. And I'm going to embroider a simple little blanket stitch around the pocket opening. I think that will be really cute, but I'm gonna ask them first because um, when you're a test knitter, you can't deviate too much from the pattern. And if they say it's not okay, then I'll just send them a photo before I do that, and then I'll do whatever I want to it afterwards. Because it'll be my skirt. And then, these three jet black balls of yarn are going to be the main part of the skirt. It's kind of a short skirt, which I don't really wear a lot. I think it'll be a fun change and a really nice summer knitwear piece. I don't have a lot of summer knitwear pieces, so it'll be really fun. I'm really fun to do this project. Uh, I, I, uh, did I say I'm really fun to do this project? That makes no sense. I apologize. Where's my brain? <laughs> so, yeah, I will come back momentarily with sample swatches. So these are my gauge swatches, and I'm really happy with how they came out. First of all, let's look at the color. This is such a beautiful, vibrant red. And I don't know if you can see this really, but there are parts that are lighter, like a much lighter red, and there are parts that are darker red, which gives it a lot of depth and interest, I find. And then also with the black, it's mostly jet black, but there are some parts that are a tiny bit lighter. I think you can see that actually on the camera. So I did this gauge swatch with a US size 4 needle. It is 28 stitches and 32 rows. And according to the pattern, that's supposed to be 4 inches. And I'll show you. This is indeed 4 inches, you see? So I got gauge! Yay! I don't have to try different needle sizes and do different swatches, which, which will save me a lot of time, which I need, because I only have six more days to finish this skirt as a test knitter. The due date is June 22nd. <laughs> now, normally I wouldn't even do test swatches for a pattern. I would just dive right into the pattern, but because I'm a test knitter, one of the rules is that I have to follow the pattern verbatim. So, um, I had to do the test swatches to make sure that the gauge is correct, to make sure that the pattern works. That's kind of the point of being a test knitter, to make sure that the pattern works as written before they publish it. So, that is uh, the black one. Now, this is the ribbing test gauge swatch. So, it's 24 stitches and 38 rows, and when you stretch it, like really stretch it, it's supposed to be about four inches. And 
as you can see. Oop, let's see if I can do this. <laughs> as you can see, I think I basically got gauge with a US size 2 needle and working in it to pearl to rib. So that's good. And as for this yarn, it's not as soft as some other yarns I'm used to working with but it's called sock squish because it's sock weight and it's squishy and I do have to agree when you knit this up it does feel quite squishy and satisfying <laughs> so I really like this yarn hey so it's the next day and uh, as you saw before I did the gauge swatches I did this last night after work in the middle of the night it took me until about three in the morning to finish these <laughs> after I wound up the balls of yarn. I didn't film myself winding the balls of yarn because I already did a video on that. Um, it was in my last yarn unboxing. If you're interested, I'll link it um, in a card up above. And also, yesterday when I was looking through the bag, I realized that the receipt was there and on the receipt, the yarn dyer and business owner of Rowan and Raven Yarn wrote this nice little note. So I'd like to share that with you. She said, I hope this scarlet turned out the way you were hoping. Happy testing, and I can't wait to see the results. Thank you, Nadia. That's such a nice little note. So if you're watching this, Nadia, thank you for this note. I am very happy with the scarlet. It's this beautiful, vibrant red. I just love it, and it goes so well with this perfect jet black. So thank you so much. Now I'm going to actually start knitting the skirt itself, now that I've gotten the test swatches done. So that will be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in my next one. Stay whimsical. Bye!